Hello, uh, this is going to be card number seven in my series using the beautiful promenade stamp set and petal promenade bundle. And I made this card so big and I'd already put the, um, it's not ribbon, this plasticky, stretchy, it's not really stretchy, um, goes with the um, stained glass suite. I can't remember what it's called. I'll write it in my stuff. I'd already put it around and I couldn't cut it down. So I just made a big envelope to go with and uh, I've got my tape on that. But I did it all in lovely lipstick and um, call me Clover. So let me show you what you will need okay you will need your regular card base which is eight and a half by five and a half and score at four and one fourth then you will need a piece of basic black and this is whisper white which measures um, i should have written it down i think it's three and three quarters yes yeah, it's three and three quarters by five. And this is three and a half by four and three quarters, which goes on here. All right. Then you will need, I use the stitch shapes for the top layer. And I use this one, which measures uh, about... The die cut itself is just over two inches, you know, the line um, for that one. And I use these two for the scallop and the square. Uh, the scalloped, let me do end to end, is two and a half from end to end. And the straight one is mm, just over two and a half. Five eighths, two and five eighths, that would work. It's about the measurements, it fits sort of like right in there. So that's the ones I used, and I've already cut them out just to save a little time. I did um, two in Whisper White and one in Lovely Lipstick, the scalloped one. So we're going to layer those. Then you will need um, about 24 inches of the black, shiny twine. Let me put these aside since I've already used them. I'll put them away in a second. Right, then you'll need your embossing stuff. Um, Versamark, your embossing buddy, your stamp set was the beautiful promenade. Beautiful promenade, and I've already got my stamps out, so I'm going to put that up. All I'm using is the flower, the leaf, and uh, the sentiment. Then I will show you how to make a little envelope to go with, even though you can use a regular A2 size envelope. I'm just going to do a, a green envelope just for ha ha's. <laughs> so um, I need the lovely lipstick. Uh, embossing powder forgot about that you get these um, in color uh, 2018 to 2020 in color embossing powders and um, this is the lovely lipstick of course you got the others you got call me clover blueberry bushel pineapple punch and grapefruit grove so I'm just going to stick all the other ones back in but I love them I think they're so adorable and I love the bright vibrant colors so we will need this so i think that is about it well of course your stamps uh, pad your stamp pad as well right let me get the leaf i have not got the leaf out i will need the leaf there is my leaf why are you in there hmm. right Right 
I don't have a little block here. I'll use a big one. That is okie dokie. Alright, so to start, um, I am going to emboss. So I will do the sentiment and the flowers. Yeah, let's do that. So, you need diverse mark. I'm using the regular flower, that's what I did. I used the regular flower first, and then I went over it. Let me stamp my, uh, this flower. Another block. I have rather large blocks here. Okay, so I'm using a lovely lipstick to stamp this. And let me have a scrap of paper here. I'm going to start in the middle. And then I'll just go around the edges. There. Just leave a little tiny room for um, leaves, greenery. I'll put one there. And uh, one there. Alright, so that will do for that. I'll clean off my stamp. Right. Now the leaf. Let's do that. You could use your masks that I, um if you have a mask already, or you could just put them on here carefully. Just uh twist them around. They don't have to adjoin the flowers. You just need some green on your no. And this is Call Me Clover. So just wanted a little green in there. I'm going to stick a little one there. Let's see. I need to wash it off. Because I just want a tiny leaf in there. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just going to do this one. Now two. There. That's good. That's good. That's good. Clean that off. Yep, that would be perfect. Right. So now, take your, uh, oh, I can keep that, embossing buddy, and just rub it all over your paper. And we're going to take the flower. And stamp it all over these images. No. Mm -hmm. Make sure your versa mark is really juicy, not dried out. Not be good. Hold it down, let it stick to your card. There we go. Sorry if my head is in the way. Pick it up. And 
and then this one. And turn and do the last one. I can see, if you can't see, you do and put your powder on so you see where you've stamped. But I can see the shiny around my flower, so I am good. Now, I didn't emboss the leaves, just the, the flower. Now, while I have oops, this out, <laughs> I'll clean my stamp ball. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on here as well. Don't need that. And it says, praying that this difficult road leads you to a beautiful destination. I'm going to do that in the lovely lipstick as well. I could have done it in black, but I liked, I wanted to use my color. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used color. We usually just have the metallic, the gold, the silver, uh, copper, black, white. You know your neutrals so it's nice to have color all right mm -mm, do it again need that one there now oops mm. Just fluff it around, make sure you get it all over your flowers. And I will set this up here and put it away in a second. Put the cap on. And yes, of course, now I have to use my heat gun, okay? So I am going to just hold this little. Not one. There we go. Start to change now. Why are you not changing? Oh, right. Let me get this one. Get that off. Oh, some powder. You see it changing. There we go. So there is our flower. There is our sentiment. So we're going to just layer that like this. Um, in fact, I'm going to glue all this like right now.
Now this I'm going to layer on the black. Now do I want to put the paper on first? Oh yeah, let's do this first. I'm going to take a little bit of, where do I want it? On the bottom there. Oh, upside down. Just to stick this one end on here. Put you down. Try and keep it straight. Two and three will be good. And cut that off. I wonder if I could do a bow. How about a bow on it instead of a. Uh, I didn't put a bow on my last one, I just wrapped it. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Let's try a bow. But I have to trim it. No. So, I'm going to put that flat together like so. And get some dimensionals and put them in the corners not in the center because I don't want it to interfere with my because that's already thick peel off your backing I didn't get that one and center it here Now we are going to attach this to the black. And center it as best you can. Like I said, the good thing about using the liquid glue gives you time to move and maneuver if you're not exactly on point. So. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Let's see, what does a little bow look like on there? I don't have a bow on my other one. Oh yeah, let's do that. Uh, a couple of glue dots here and I'll put it on the bottom and put it there and put one on the back of my torn peel and stick peel stick there we go There we go. Oh yeah, that black just does it, doesn't it? Oh, I had the lovely lipstick behind one and I just didn't like it. I'm like, no, I'm going to put black on there. And then we're just going to attach this to our card base. Whisper white card. And then I'll do an envelope real quick, just so you can kind of see, in case you've never seen the envelope maker in action. So, there is our card, and this is our A2 size card. So, let me get the envelope stuff here now. Okay, it says for your regular A2 size card is four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half card size. So you go over, where am I? 
four and a quarter by, and it says to cut your paper to eight by eight. Then you score at three and a half on here. So you look at your three and a half. So we put our paper in. Get my little scoring knife out. And we put it at three and a half and we score. Oops. Score. And punch. Then we move anti-clockwise, so left. And put this on the arrow. And score. Punch. And then put that on the arrow. Oops. Score. Punch. And then put that on the arrow. Score. And punch. So that is our envelope. And then what you need to do is you need to fold it all up and burnish it with your bone folder so it's nice and crisp. Now you can uh, take your envelope maker too and put your corners or your points in the back here and punch them out for rounded edges. So let's do that. Three and four. There we go. And then I have all these little bits. So now we have our envelope. I take the two um, shorter sides and I um, put tape down here and down here. And then we just fold this in and there's our envelope. And then here I put some of the double-sided tape, but I don't peel it until I'm ready to seal it. So put that there. The tear and tape. And put this up here. And nobody's going to know because this is going to be sealed and they're going to rip it like a normal envelope. Once you peel this, when your card is ready, you, uh, you know, put your card in. Oops. And there you go. There's our envelope. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is my last um, card for now using the Petal Promenade or Beautiful Promenade uh, stamp set bundle and the beautiful paper. Remember it is on sale right now so it's buy three D designer series papers and you get the fourth free and there are select ones and I have blogged about it so if you go to my website um, I have the what papers are actually on sale on my website. Uh, I thank you for watching and you have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.